What's going on everybody? I'm back see you through reptiles and today is going to be a quick snake mites video um, that my girlfriend Tiffany decided she wanted to make to let you guys know how to take care of mites. So without further ado, here we go. Hello everybody, um, Tiffany here. Um, so today I'm going to be making a video about getting rid of mites on snakes. So uh, my snake currently does not have mites, but I'm going to do a video because I've had mites in the past, so this worked for me, so I'm going to share with you guys how I got rid of my mites. So first thing you're going to need is of course your snake that has the mites. And then you'll need some reptile spray. And it's mite spray basically. Um, I use this one. Um, you'll need a spray bottle of vinegar. And you'll need some coconut oil. And a hide. You can make it out of anything. You'll need some paper towels and a plastic bowl, Tupperware bowl, or something that can be either a water dish. So, you'll also need a bin. Um, as you can see, it has holes here so she can breathe in it. Um, so, let's get on to the video. First thing first, you will need your coconut oil melted because it does come in the thing kind of hard as you can see it is kind of hard in there so you will need to scoop some out and melt it um i did mine about two minutes and then i let it cool down to where it comes with the to a creamy base um so then you will take your snake and you will get your coconut oil and you will gently put it on your snake. Let them slide through your hands. It is really, 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 really oily. So just let them slide through your hands. And what the oil does is it suffocates the mites on it, so that way it kills off any mites. Because what the mite spray does is it does kill the mites, however it does not get under the mites, the mites underneath their scales. So this kind of suffocates them. Now that that is done, we will put her back into the jar and we will let her sit there for about 15 minutes so that the mites get suffocated and we'll be back in 15 minutes so you can see what to do next. Okay, hello everybody, we are back. Um, 15 minutes is up, and one thing I did forget to tell you guys is you will need Dawn dish soap. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess, the scent. Um, I used the regular one, you know, just in case. So, you could do this next part in the bathtub or anywhere you would like. Um, I chose to do it in a bin. So, I'm going to move her over here and place this other bin right here so you guys are going to see what I am doing. So next you will take your Dawn dish soap and you would do just a little bit into the water and what this does is it allows the water to take off all the oil because if you just put the 
snake in the water. The oil is just going to have the water bubble up and it's not going to get the oil off the snake. So then we will grab our snake and we will place her into the water. Mm. Let her swim around in the water just a little bit. Just trying to get her because it's kind of a tiny tub. So, have her swim around in there for a little bit. Okay. And then we can take some paper towels and have her kind of dry off any water that's on her. So this next part is going to be her housing and how you will treat the mites and their tank or tub, whatever you have the snake in. Now for this next part, um, I will not be actually spraying the mite spray or the vinegar because like I said, she does not have mites as of right now, so I do not want to waste it. So, first, we'll start off with the vinegar. So basically what you do, is you spray all over the cage, and then you'll want to close up the cage for about, I'd say 15 minutes, and then after 15 minutes comes by, so the, mic the mites suffocate, I would get some paper towels, and wipe out all the vinegar that is inside of it. Make sure you get all the corners of the cage so you get every thing out. Then, after that, you will place paper towels down, don't put them on the substrate that you had them on, just because you don't want that substrate to have mites, and then they get it after you just treated them. So what you do is you'll lay paper towels down in your reptiles tank or tub, whatever you have them in. Then you will take the mite spray and spray the paper towel so that your reptile is kind of moving through the paper towels and the mite spray gets onto them. Then you will need this container that is made into a hide because you don't want to use a rock hide, you can also use a hamster hide if you'd like, but for now I'm just going to use a butter bowl for a hide. So we place that over the heat pad, and then this, I have a dog bowl here with water in it for her, and you put that in the cage. Okay, so after you get done with placing everything in the tub, you can get your snake and you can place her in her home. Obviously close the lid or whatever. And then you're gonna wanna repeat the coconut oil for about a week. You can do longer than a week. 
it's really your preference um we did ours for a week and your snake will be mite free